Imagine you were standing in a room lined with mirrors, each reflection staring back at you, creating an endless corridor of images. This corridor represents the layers of your consciousness. At the core of this multiplicity is the true observer, a facet of yourself that watches both the external world and the internal expanse of your mind. It is a singular point of awareness, an unwavering presence that observes the thoughts, emotions, and memories dancing across the stage of your mind. This observer is more than just a passive spectator. It is the silent weaver of your narrative, the quiet imposer of your inner symphony. It does not speak with words but with the language of intuition, a knowing that transcends the cacophony of everyday life. This entity of awareness shapes your reality by directing your focus, pulling threads from the subconscious, weaving them into the conscious tapestry of your day. Today, experience. The deeper truth lies in the realization that this inner observer is not separate from the observed. There is a profound unity, a closed loop where the observer is also the observed. The reality you navigate is not an external entity imposed upon you. Rather, it is a creation of your own consciousness, a projection of the inner observer's gaze. In essence, the person you believe yourself to be, the personality you present to the world, is also a construct, an intricate character authored by this inner observer. Thus, when you ponder who you are, it is this very observer within that crafts yourself. Image, this, is a being of pure awareness that does not judge but perceives, a presence that has been with you since the beginning, witnessing the narrative of your life unfold. It's a silent partner in the human experience, one that knows you more intimately than anyone else could, for it has access to the hidden alcoves of your psyche, the places where your deepest dreams and fears reside. This observer is the quiet voice that whispers insights. During moments of solitude, the gentle nudge that steers you towards growth and understanding. It's the part of you that remains constant amid the ever-changing landscape of your life. In recognizing this observer, you come to understand that the essence of who you are is not the sum of your experiences, but the awareness that experiences them. You are both the painter and the portrait, the dreamer and the dream. In the silence of your mind, there's a phenomenon that defies the linear progression of thought. It's the echo of your consciousness. This echo doesn't reverberate off the walls of a tangible canyon, but through the vastness of your inner self. It's not a sound, but a resonance, a feedback loop from the thoughts you project into the world and the reality that you perceive. The echo of your consciousness is a dialogue between you and the universe. It's the response to your deepest questions, often arriving not in words, but in life events, experiences, and the subtle yet profound realizations that dawn upon you in quiet moments. It's the way the universe communicates with you, providing a mirror to the energies you send out. This echoing isn't a mere repetition of what has been. It's a conversation. With each thought and action, you send out a call, and what returns is often transformed, colored by the complexities of human experience and the mysteries of existence. It's as if your consciousness casts a stone into the waters of the cosmos, and the ripples that return carry with them insights from a realm beyond your immediate perception. Consider this echo as a form of guidance, a way for the deeper, often unvoiced parts of yourself to converse with the aspects you know well. It's like an internal guidance system that uses the language of synchronicity and coincidence, providing signs and symbols that guide your path. Through this echo, 
you can perceive the undercurrent of your life's flow, discerning patterns and messages that are uniquely tailored to your journey. The echo of your consciousness is a testament to your connectivity with the fabric of reality. It's a reminder that you are not an isolated entity, but a thread woven into the vast tapestry of existence. Your thoughts and feelings are not confined within the boundaries of your skin. They spill out into the world, influencing and being influenced by the dance of creation. This echo shapes the narrative of your life. It's the return signal that confirms your participation in the grand scheme of things, a cosmic feedback that shapes your understanding of who you are and what you might become. In the echo, you find the truth that your inner world is a reflection of the outer world. And in the subtlety of this reflection, you find the profound depths of your own being. In the hidden recesses of your mind, there is a transformative process unfolding, akin to alchemy. Self-reflection is the crucible in which your thoughts, experiences, and emotions are transmuted into a profound understanding of self. This alchemical process is not about turning base metals into gold, but about the transfiguration of the mundane into insights of immeasurable value. Self-reflection is an intimate act, one where you sit with the raw materials of your psyche, sifting through them with a curious mind and an open heart. As you delve into the narrative of your past and the possibilities of your future, you engage in a dialogue with the different facets of yourself. It's a process that dissolves the boundaries between the conscious and subconscious, allowing for a flow of ideas and revelations that were once hidden in the shadows of routine and distraction. In this sacred space, the thoughts you entertain are not just fleeting visitors. They are the artisans of your identity. Each introspective moment is a stroke of the artisan's tool, shaping the essence of who you are. The inner dialogue that arises from self-reflection is the forge where the image of yourself is tempered and honed. Through self-reflection, you come to understand that the person you present to the world is a crafted entity, sculpted by the many inner monologues you've held. Your identity is an art piece continuously being molded by the hands of your contemplations. The person you believe you are today is a result of this ongoing process, a byproduct of the alchemy that turns experience into wisdom. The beauty of this alchemical process is that it is endless. With each introspective journey, you uncover more layers, revealing complexities and new shades of meaning. The understanding of self is a horizon that continually expands as you approach it. It is not a static picture, but a dynamic, evolving narrative the more you reflect the more nuanced your self-portrait becomes. In the alchemy of self-reflection, the ultimate revelation is that you are both the alchemist and the philosopher's stone, the transformative agent and the result of the transformation. You are the creator of your own narrative, and yet you are also the narrative itself. This understanding allows you to grasp the fluid nature of your identity, seeing it not as a fixed entity, but as a living, breathing work of art, ever subject to the creative process of introspection and change. Within the depths of your essence lies an enigmatic truth. You are part of an infinite loop of being where the creator and the creation are one. The self is both the sculptor and the clay, the painter and the canvas, in a constant state of formation and reformation. This loop is the pulse of your existence the rhythm to which your life dances, even when you are not fully aware of the music. In this loop, your being is in a state of perpetual emergence. You are never the same in any two moments, for with every thought and every breath, a new aspect of you comes into existence while another recedes into the past.
This process is as natural as the rise and fall of the sun, yet it holds the key to the most profound mysteries of your identity. Imagine your consciousness as a river flowing ceaselessly. The water that passes by at any given moment is never the same, and yet the river endures. This is the loop of your being, a continuity that persists through change. Your thoughts and experiences are like the water, temporary, transient, always moving. But the riverbed, the deeper self that holds these thoughts and experiences, remains. This loop is not a closed circuit that circles back on itself in redundancy. It is an upward spiral, a journey that elevates with each cycle, with every round of introspection and outward expression. You gain altitude, seeing the landscape of your life from ever. Greater heights, understanding the patterns and pathways with increasing clarity. In this infinite loop, the self is a dynamic entity, always in the process of becoming. It defies the static labels and definitions that one might be tempted to affix. Just as the universe is expanding, so too is the nature of your being, propelled by the forces of your thoughts, actions, and the deep-seated desires that drive them. This understanding of the self as both the creator and the created, the imaginer and the imagined, offers a freedom that is both exhilarating and daunting. It places the responsibility of your reality squarely in the realm of your own making. It suggests that the life you lead and the person you are is a testament to your own creative power, a power that is boundless and inherently linked to the creative force that animates all things. This loop of being is a dance of creation in which you are intimately entwined with the fabric of existence. In recognizing this, you come to see that your individual narrative is a thread in a grander weave, a singular melody in the grand symphony of life. It is a recognition that is at once humbling and empowering, for it affirms that you are a vital part of the unfathomable mystery that is existence.